Hello, my beautiful Aries. My name is Jennifer from JenniferWalkerSN.com, here to bring you weekly forecasts for October 21st to the 27th. And if you'd like more information, you can check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. And of course, if you'd like a personal reading with me, if this doesn't resonate with you, or you would like more information about your own personal situation, you can always get a personal reading with me by going to my website, JenniferWalkerSN.com, or checking out the description box below. Remember, this is for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. Okay, let's jump right in. What's up, my Aries? Romantic love life for October 21st to the 27th. What's going on, my Aries? Romantic love life for October 21st to the 27th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, that feels good. I'll put that aside here. What is going on with my Aries romantic love life for October 21st to the 27th? What's going on my Aries romantic love life for October 21st to the 27th? Show me the cards you need to see. Okay, that feels good. And this is going to be your love interest right here this week coming up. What's going on with my Aries love interest for October 21st to the 27th? What's going on with my Aries Love interest, romantic love life, October 21st to the 27th. Oh, okay, that sounds good. All right, let's lay these cards down so that I don't lose my place here. What day are we on? Good card. Wow. Okay. The tower is coming out. And by the way, the sun is at the bottom of the deck. So you know what that means. Whenever the sun comes out, everything's going to be okay. All right. So on the 21st, on the 21st, it looks like you're going to get your wish here. Okay. So your wishes are going to be fulfilled on the 21st. So it's interesting, though, your energy is coming out as the devil card. Maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn. Maybe that's fulfilling your wishes, Aries. So devil card, bondage, addiction, depression, or procrastination. Or maybe you're dealing with a situation because the devil can come out also when we're strongly attached to someone. And in the beginning of relationships, a lot of times that will happen where the devil will come out because someone's strongly attached to someone. So that's interesting. Okay, so let's see what's going on with your love interest. They have the King of Wands, which is your energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy right here. They want to make a wise choice when it comes to passion. They may see you as a wise choice when it comes to passion with the King of Wands energy. On the 22nd, Spirit is saying to watch out for some type of challenges on this day. Okay, so be careful of any, any challenges that may come up on this day. Your energy, however, is coming out as the Four of Wands. So it's like your, your energy is surrounding uh, marriage, long-term commitment, some kind of stability here. And we have the birds in the cards, so you could be talking to this person, communicating with this person. Birds are any form of communication. So something to do with love, interest, with, with your love life pertaining to communication. And something surrounding uh, marriage or stability. All right? or stableness, because fours are structure, following the rules, it's like a foundation, you know, long-term commitment stuff. Your love interest, oh my God, this is crazy, Aries, look at that. The day before, you were the devil, and now this day, on the 22nd, your love just is coming out of the devil. That's funny. So, uh, Capricorn energy again. Bondage, addiction, depression, or procrastination, or maybe a strong attachment in the romantic love life with the devil card there. Hmm. <laughs> On the 23rd, something's going to happen pertaining to your destiny here. So be on the lookout for that. Something is part of your life path here. Your energy on the 23rd is coming out as the queen of cups energy. So this energy is about patience. It's also a nurturing kind of energy. And it's an energy of advice, too, because queens are patients, but they also can be uh, a time when you get some kind of advice pertaining to your romantic love life. This is obviously Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, and it's an energy of should I give a couple of, should I not give a couple of. 
what's going on with your love interest? Oh my God, they see there is some type of opportunity of passion here with this Ace of Wands energy. So, yeah, there's there's some kind of potential there in their uh, in their situation for some kind of potential passion. With the Ace of Wands energy or renewed passion too. Okay, so on the 24th, you want to watch out for any symbolism on this day because you have the symbol card. So, you know, pay attention to your dreams on this day. It's on the 24th. Pay attention to your dreams on this day. Anything that may feel like maybe a sign from the universe, pay attention to it, okay? Be aware of it. Write it down or contemplate it later, all right? So be aware that Spirit's sending you a message on this day. So your energy is coming out as the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy, okay? So it's this again is something to do with traditional values, marriage, long-term commitment, which seems to be the central theme going on here, Aries, so far. Something surrounding marriage and long-term commitment here, traditional values, and something spiritual. Okay, so your love interest of the person that you're dealing with is coming out as the strength card. So they could be dealing with a Leo energy, or it could be something surrounding someone who's trying to gain some kind of courage and strength in their romantic love life. Or maybe even controlling their passions because you see how this this woman here is controlling the lion, closing the lion's mouth. Okay. On the 25th. So something is going to affect your romantic love life pertaining to money on the 25th. Okay, so be aware of that. But it looks like luck is on your side. So something to do with luck is on your side on the 25th. So that's good. So something to do with luck is on your side on the 25th. Fifth, the Wheel of Fortune is moving in your favor, which is the central theme of the week here. Your love interest, the person you're dealing with, has the death card. So something to do with the Scorpio energy or some kind of ending to start something new with the death card there. Okay, or something to do with a transformational energy there. So it looks like on this day, on the 26th, Spirit suggesting or, you know, you're, you're going to want to do something where you're going to want more freedom here. We want more space with the freedom card. And here is your energy. It's Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. It looks like you just want to make wise choices. You want to be a natural born leader here. You want to make wise choices when it comes to your passion. So on the 26th, that's your energy. It's like kind of like you want your space. You want your freedom to kind of do your thing. Your love interest or the person you're dealing with may also be focused on themselves on this day with the Nine of Pentacles energy. They could be focused on themselves. There could be some kind of situation where someone wants someone single and available in your Nine of Pentacles energy. Or someone has everything that they need here, the Nine of Pentacles energy. On the 27th, see, didn't I say Aries? Central theme. It seems to be something surrounding long-term commitment marriage for you. So we have marriage again here, as the Oracle card says, something to do with an agreement or commitment, because that's what marriage is, an agreement and commitment. Marriage. And uh, it, it may hit you by surprise here with the Tower card. <laughs> this may be a little bit shocking because, you know, you definitely want to look out for this day, Aries, on the 27th. With this Tower energy, there's something, some kind of sudden upheaval surrounding marriage and long-term commitment here. Okay, so your love interest of the person that you're doing, you're dealing with, you're doing, you're dealing with, <laughs> is coming out as the Seven of Cups energy. So it's like they're having a confusion about their choices, about um, what they want here. Seven, they're trying to gain some kind of confidence in their choices with the Seven of Cups energy. All right, so I'm looking forward to doing your overall here. So let's take a look at this because it does seem like there's a lot of interesting stuff going on. I know the Sun card was at the, the overall of the bottom of the deck for you for this week. So it does say that whatever's going on, it's gonna be okay. So let's kind of get these decks going here for the overall. So what's going on, my Aries romantic love life for October 21st to the 27th? Let's go to my Aries romantic love life for October 21st to the 27th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on, my Aries romantic love life for October 21st to the 27th? Okay, that feels good. Let's get our other clarifiers, which will be the right or week. All right, let's go, my Aries. Romantic love life for October 21st to the 27th. Let's go to my Aries. Romantic love life for October 21st to the 27th. Let's go to my Aries. Romantic love life for October 21st to the 27th. Okay, that feels good. And then we have my little Norman clarifier. Let's go to my Aries. Romantic love life for October 21st to the 27th. 
Oh, come on. All right. What's going on, my Aries? Romantic love life, October 21st to October 27th. All right, let's do this. In the current position, Aries, it looks like you are taking charge of your situation. You are the other person that you're dealing with. It's taking charge of the situation because they want to be victorious. And when I see the chariot card, for me, for me, this is the same card as the ship card in Lone Armin. Okay, so it's like, it's almost like I see a, a, a vehicle. Okay, so it's like there's some kind of long distance travel going on here. It's some kind of travel going on, maybe local travel. Maybe there's a long distance relationship happening here where someone has to travel to someone here. But there's, there's a, a situation where someone wants to take charge of it to be victorious. So that's currently what's going on. Oh, there's your energy here. Aries. They want to take charge of this because of Aries. <laughs> also, this is the leadership card, which shows that someone wants to take charge. They want to be a leader in this, their romantic love life. And why is that? Because of something surrounding choices. Somebody wants they want to take charge of their choices. They want to be in control of this situation when it comes to their choices and their options. All right, what's the blockage? The blockage, obviously, is choice, right? We got the lover's card. So there's some kind of twin flame soulmate connection involved with this, okay? And there needs to be a choice. And that is the blockage here because the lover's is the blockage. There could be a Gemini energy. doesn't have to be, but there could be. And it's something surrounding putting the work in. Someone's not putting the effort or the work in because they have to make a choice. And why is that? Uh, because there's some kind of anchor. Okay, so I'm going to say since I see the anchor card and see the emperor card, there could be a work situation involved with this. So there could be a work relationship going on here. There could be something surrounding a uh, school work or apprenticeship situation going on here. Because the emperor can represent a boss, okay? We got the Eight of Pentacles, and for me, the Anchor card is a work card. Okay, so um, also this could be saying for some of you, it's not a work situation. It's a situation where there has to be a choice that has to be made. And the reason why there's a blockage here is because there's an anchor to the fact that someone's not putting enough effort in because they have to make a choice. Okay, what's going on in the foundation of the matter? Ten of Wands energy. Okay, so Ten of Wands energy shows me that there's a lot of burden on someone's mind. Uh, they feel responsible. They feel burdened with the Ten of Wands energy. And why is that? Because they've been doing some deep, heavy soul searching here. They've been really thinking about things, contemplating things here. Also, when I see the whip, uh, for because it's a little Norman slash tarot, the whip for me is a sexual card because it's something repetitive over and over and over again. So it's something repetitive. So there could be something sexual involved with the situation that's a burden on someone's mind. And they've been doing some heavy, deep soul searching because of the fact that the fox card could be something of manipulation or deception here, okay, involved with this. All right, so let's see what's going on in the past energy. Queen of Pentacles energy tells me that Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. So there could have been involving a, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here in the past. And or it was something to do with someone who um, was being patient and they were trying to gain some advice about their situation, about what they wanted to do for the long term. OK, situation. And why was that? Again, another queen, because someone told it like it is or someone wanted to tell it like it is with the queen of swords energy pertaining to an ending or a stoppage here. All right, what's going on the head of the matter? Four of Cups shows me that whatever is being offered is not being accepted. Someone may be bored here with the Four of Cups energy, or there may be more than one person or choice. And obviously, we see that in the current. Yeah, it's clarified by the Four of Cups. Why is it there? Because the Four of Cups, and why is it there? Okay, so the Four of Cups can be there because of the fact that there may be a, a new opportunity here with the Child card. Or it's because someone wants a fresh start with a child card. Or there could be a child or children involved in the situation. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen in the immediate future for you. So it does look good, actually. Okay, so it looks like there's gonna it, it's going to move into a long-term situation for you, Aries, in the immediate future. But it's like this person, you or this other person, is going to take their time moving here. This is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. It doesn't have to be, though. Um, they're they're going to move into some kind of long-term commitment, but God, they're going to take a long time here with this Knight of Pentacles because there's going to be a lot of contemplation with this. And the reason is, is because someone wants to make a wise choice when it comes to love with the King of Cups energy. 
And there could be some issues surrounding control. Maybe someone wants to gain some kind of strength or control of their romantic love life. And this is kind of why it's kind of taking so long. And also the bear is another work card for me. So there could be something surrounding work there that could be an issue, maybe even a boss energy. All right, so subconsciously, someone feels like they're being deceptive or sneaky, all right, or maybe they're not being honest with themselves here. And uh, it's, it's something to do with them fulfilling their wishes, sign of cups energy pertaining to a person. Okay, so let's see what the influence is. The influence is someone wants, uh, there is someone here that wants to defend their position, okay? And obviously they're doing a good job of it because someone in the card is, is down. <laughs> someone in the card is down there. So, yeah, they, they feel like whatever's going on, they want to slay that person out. <laughs> yeah, they want to take that person out, okay? So that's kind of the influence. This person wants to take the other person out. And they are willing to do whatever it takes to pretty much do that. Okay, so that's the influence. And why is that? Because it's clarified by the same card. Maybe they feel like there's a lot of people coming at them. Because I, when I see these sticks right here or these, these wands right here, I, I see them as a lot of people. So um, this, this person may feel like there's a lot of people coming at them. Okay. They feel like a lot of people are coming at them. And it may have been going on for a long time. This could be something surrounding um, a healing situation with the tree or uh, someone who has been very patient because the tree is patience. It's something that's been going on for a long time. This could also be something surrounding someone who needs to heal. Okay. So what is the, what is the uh, hopes and fears? Someone wants, uh, someone here wants to make a wise choice when it comes to long-term commitment towards from a Capricorn energy. They want some kind of serious potential here, and they want something done. They want something to happen here, or they want something cut away with the Scythe card. All right, so what's going to be the outcome here? So now we know in the 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 day-to-day the -day there was something involving marriage. Now it's interesting that this card would come up, justice. It's um. It's a it's divorce, it's marriage, it is a just decision. It's like a decision is about to be made or a decision has been made. Okay, that's what justice is. It's a balanced, just decision. So know that when you when you see justice. It's also Libra energy. And why is that here? So there's a decision that's about to be made or a decision that has been made about love and uh, love and abundance and or something to do with potential pregnancy. And that's there because of the fact that there was some type of message or somebody visited someone, okay? And by the way, the uh, the Rider card is Wishes Fulfilled card. So, so let's kind of break this down. So there is a just decision about love, abundance, because of the fact someone wants to fulfill their wishes, because someone wants to send a message, or because someone wants to visit someone. Someone wants a visit from someone or someone wants a message from someone pertaining to love. Okay, so let's break this down further. Okay, yep, there we go. And I, when I see the Knight of Wands, for me, it's the same as the Rider card. Okay, so there is a just decision about someone holding on to someone. Okay, something emotionally, because obviously I said the influence was something to do with the tree, because it's something to do with healing. So someone is trying to heal from something, or someone is trying to hold on to something for a short success, but someone else wants to move towards their passion here, Knight of Wands energy. So there may be an issue around uh, commitment. Commitment issues could be here. Uh, someone's not sure if they want to hold on to this, or they want to move on, you know, or they want to move towards their passion. So I'm going to clarify further here. I'm going to clarify further here. All right. Why is the, uh, why is the four of pentacles here? Why is the four of pentacles here? There's a choice to be made. So someone can hold on or let go for short success because there's a choice. And why is that? Because someone wants to take a leap of faith to something new or they, they feel like there's a risk here. Because they've been waiting around for something. They've been waiting around to see how things are going to play out. Why is the Knight of Wands here? The Knight of Wands is here because it's something to do with friendship, celebration, hanging out, 
or something to do with more than one choice here. And this is making someone feel defensive, defensive about a test of faith going on here, pertaining to a message or moving too quickly. Okay, so let's break this down. So obviously there's messages going on between you and this person. I see the Eight of Wands and I see the Writer card. And the messages are surrounding love, okay? And there is an issue surrounding someone who wants to hold on to something, but on the same token, they don't feel appreciated because I see the bouquet card there. And there's a just decision about maybe I should move towards my passions, Knight of Wands energy, because I feel defensive because there's more than one person here, or maybe someone here wants to hang out and celebrate. This may be why that Tower card came in, because of this Eight of Wands, because it happened suddenly, and obviously it's towards the end of the week, okay? And it's, it's going to be issues surrounding commitment issues, um, whether or not someone wants to move towards their passion. And there's going to be a decision made on this because the justice card is there. All right, so let me get some advice for you. So Knight of Pentacles in the immediate, someone's going to take their time. And then the immediate, the, the out, outcome towards the end of the week looks like Someone's going to decide, okay, should I just let go of this? And there's going to be a conversation that's going to happen or a message is going to happen because someone wants to move towards their passion, maybe hang out and or uh, there's something surrounding another person here that's making someone defensive. Okay, so can I have some advice for my Aries romantic love life for October 21st to the 27th, please? Can I have some advice for my Aries for October 21st to the 27th? See? We have deception. So uh, be honest. Okay, so someone is wearing a false mask here, Aries. And it's something surrounding someone keeping an open mind. And you deserve love. Okay, so Aries, it's saying that you need to be honest about something pertaining to uh, keeping an open mind because you deserve love. Okay, why is the deception card here, Spirit? Why is the deception card here? Because... Um, there is a person here that feels like their hands are tied and this is a burden on their mind pertaining to a reconciliation or healing here pertaining to somebody from the past possibly why is keeping open mind here why is keeping open mind here okay because someone needs to be single and available or someone here is is needing to be single and available because it says keep an open mind so something to do with dishonesty and keep an open mind because there needs to be someone who needs to be single and available and uh, this person needs to take charge to be victorious in order to move into common waters with six swords energy. Why is it you deserve love here? Why is that not here? Because of something to do with marriage and long-term commitment. I, I told you there's something pertaining to marriage, long-term commitment, and ending of some kind of hurt or pain to start something new pertaining to a reconciliation and a healing. Okay. All right, my Aries. Yeah, there's a lot going on for you guys this week. And yeah, watch out for the 27th. Let me know in the comments below. Guys, I love you so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if this doesn't resonate with you or you want me to draw upon your own personal energies, you can always get a personal reading with me by going to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com or checking out the description box below. Guys, have a great week. Love you so much.